Dana. Welcome back, everyone. Today is National Grilled Cheese Day. I mean, who doesn't like a good grilled cheese? And to help us celebrate or commemorate it is Gail Voss, who is the proprietor of Gail V's Best Ever Grilled Cheese. Yep. Right? Yes. I know you have a location right here in our building, Block 37 in the Pedway. Right. So thanks spot. for being with us. So we want to know, Gail, yes. what is your secret for the perfect grilled cheese? To me, um, I call it the best ever because I source the best ingredients. I started at the farmer's market, mm -hmm. um, so I got fresh bread. Um, Benison Bakery is at my farmer's market, Green City Market in Lincoln Park. And uh, I got their fresh baked white sourdough bread. That's it right here, That's right? it right here, okay. yes. And it's not real sour, but it crisps up nice. Um, and then the butter was from uh, Al at so, uh, Nordic Creamery. Can you show us, like, do you butter the outside we put, yep, or the... Yep. Inside. Marissa butters the outside. Okay. And Marissa makes the sandwiches. Okay. Yes. She uh, butters uh, a whole tray of that table full of them, and um, then we um, have the cheese. I get cheese. Can we see um, that cheese before it's cooked? You can. Okay. You can. This is called the butter case cheese, and it's made. Um, I use only Prairie Pure cheese. The only cheese I don't I, I, I use besides Prairie Pure cheese is. Um, the new vegan grilled cheese I have Ooh, with a yum. local mozzarella. It's a lot really of vegans good. these days too. There are I mean, more and more of those them. Those and gluten free. We so gluten -free is, is this too. like a cheddar or a um, gouda? It's, no, it's more like an American. It's mild. Uh, okay. The thing I like about it is it's buttery and its um, ability to melt nice. Okay, so let's watch you do it. So all right, you yeah, put it so, together. Yep, yeah, we put it together. You right. know, just butter on the outside. The cheese on the inside seems simple enough. Good and ingredients. And we have uh, fresh ingredients. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, the cheese is made in small batches. So right. it's really fresh. Um, the like bread is fresh. The butter ships to me directly from the farm. Wow. Um, oh, you so had it doesn't two get any the, in the foreman. I had yes, no idea. Yes. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to keep cook them up uh, as we go. But uh, I usually have our um, commercial uh, panini presses yeah. um, wherever we go. We take them catering. We take them to the farmer's markets. And um, oh, I just okay. love the... Um, the George's portable, so for something to come here or to you know give to somebody to cater if they just want to get grilled cheese, oh, it smells we so sell good. them just made up but not cooked, and you can borrow a George Foreman and cook them yourself. But we get all we have a variety, mm. but it is such a lovely, oh my gosh, look like, lovely I, I if Lou can melty see. cheese. Uh, it's just really, um, but it is, uh, and I like because we add uh, different ingredients from the market. I started with just the classic, our second sandwich was the South Port, um, and I brought some of those today, too. It has smoked onion marmalade in it. Smoked oh. onion marmalade tastes like bacon, but there's no meat in it, and it's really sweet. It's actually a Good Food Award winner, and it's named after South Port Grocery and Cafe um, over by Wrigley. Um, great place to eat, and the smoked onion marmalade um, is a Good Food Award winner, which I is mean, not an easy thing. I was saying when I got up here, so we're up a, a few floors from, from the set, and I was yeah. saying all I had to do was follow my nose. No, yes, it, it does. <laughs> Wherever we go, we fill the building full of uh, good smells. And you were uh, able to survive COVID. I did, actually. My um, farmer's market family, you know, really stepped up and um, I started doing, I pivoted, I did um, cold sandwiches at the market because um, they wouldn't let me cook. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also did the grilled cheese like this, um, but cold. And I put them in little containers and you took them home and I'd send a card with cooking instructions in case you don't know how to make a grilled cheese. Well, it looks yeah. it, it looks and delicious. Just, and it, do we get to try some of this? I'm, these are all going to be for you guys. Oh yes. my gosh. Yes. I what a extra. Friday bonus. Yes. Yes. Come down for tomato soup. Um, and we have live music, and then since it's National Grilled Cheese Day, everybody that comes in today wins a prize. All right, awesome, Gail Voss. So yes. so thankful that you're here. Thanks I mean, for truly, me. um, congratulations on your success. And if you would like to get a glimpse at some of Gail's classic recipes at home, you know we've told you about the ingredients. You can also find the recipe on our website, cbschicago.com. Com. So we really, really appreciate yeah, it. Thanks for having me. All Happy right. National Grilled Cheese Day. <laughs> All right. Back to the studio, and I'll be bringing some grilled cheeses. Oh, you promise? Because that's a lot of them. Gail, thank you.